So good morning from Alton Towers for our first visit of 2020. Obviously no rides are open today, it's just the gardens and all that, but it's very nice that, you know, we've been able to come here. It's just nice to see it all again, obviously. Uh, not all the parks open, you know, this front bit's open and the gardens. You know, we can see Spinball, we'll be able to see Wicker Man in a bit. Uh, yeah, just to walk down Tower Street again, it was really nice. So yeah, we're going to have a nice walk around the gardens. <laughs> yeah, we will. And we'll see you around. So as I said in the intro, it's going to be very nice to get back here, just to see the rides, as much as we're not going to be getting on them. So we're going to see Wicker Man for the first time this decade. Hiding behind the trees there. Let's get a bit closer to him. Danielle, which area of Alton Towers are we in? Which area of Alton Towers are we in? I'm not going to say it because you want to make a joke out of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a walk around Mutiny Bay, yeah it's open. Uh, I hope I've said it because I've listened to her say it wrong that many times. So yeah, Danielle sometimes can't pronounce Mutiny Bay. Where are we Danielle? Mutiny Bay! Oh, well done. We'll have a look back at Wicker Man in a bit but the rides that we can see, I believe Spinball has them as well. Wickerman and all around there, they have uh, markers on the floor for the distancing in the queue, which is very good. Nice to see them preparing to open on that 4th of July date, which, yeah, hopefully we can do. They put some markers in the Heath Ho queue line. Uh, it looks like they've been here a while, uh, obviously, and it's been covered by leaves. I, maybe they've put these up. Um, maybe they put these up before the lockdown and everything because uh, when we went to Legoland uh, the weekend before um, the lockdown uh, they put some markers in the queue lines and stuff uh, not everyone was doing it because uh, yeah it wasn't as like yeah it wasn't as strict back then but uh, yeah there was markers on like the floor in the Dragon queue line and Pirate Falls so yeah maybe uh, obviously it was a weekend before Alton Towers was supposed to be opening for their opening weekend. So maybe they've um, put some marks on the floor. Where are we, Danielle? But I assume they'll clean them leaves up if they can open on the 4th of July. And it is good that, you know, they've been um, preparing to open. They've been putting markers on the floor and in the queue lines. And they've even been testing rides. Now, uh, it's a Sunday today, so who knows if they're going to test the rides. I know they have done in the weekdays. Um, so yeah, if we if we see the rides testing, it's a bonus of of the visit, I guess. Lovely. So when Danielle's standing here and she forgets the name of the area, you, you, she'd maybe want to read the sign, but she can't because of the trees if she stood here. So what what does it say? What does it say? Well I'm back to Wicker Man. Yeah, I think that's one of the only food places open. But like they're not. Yeah, it's not like yeah hot food and also it's nice to come here because we've never really seen it operating like this where the rides are closed and it's just the gardens and the rides are just standing there so they've never operated like this so it's nice to see it Some markers on the floor ready for the hydration station. And it's fenced off there and there, so we can't get to Hex for Team Rita or Raj's Bouncy Bottom Burp. What a shame. And here it is, I've missed seeing this the Smiler with the screen thing on. And maybe they'll be testing it a bit. The problem is, it's too quiet to vlog. Apart from the soundtrack, it is just silent. So, you know, everyone can just hear you, and I talk a load of rubbish, so I don't want everyone to, well, yeah, well, can't really help it, can you, but, uh, yeah. And here we are at Spinball Wizard. Nice weather today. Um, the weather forecast has been changing for today, every day, like, Monday it'd say it'd rain, then Tuesday it'd say it'd be dry, so, you know, it was only a last minute thing to actually come here today, I was going to wait till next week, but I'm glad we did, look at it. Don't want to jinx it or anything, but yeah, Spinball's looking wonderful with the blue skies behind it. And of course it is strange without that good old soundtrack. 
playing. There's Octonauts as well. Very nice. And the markers have been put on the floor again. Same as Heathho really. I think they've probably done this in March before the lockdown when they thought they could open. Obviously with uh, a few do social distancing measures. But yeah, all this will be cleaned up uh, if they can open on the 4th of July. And yeah, obviously I keep saying that. I really hope they can do. If I remember rightly from watching vlogs last week, this part of Haunted Hollow was open. You could walk up here and underneath there. But yeah, for some reason it's fenced off this week. So yeah, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe something went wrong last week with, with something to do with safety. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's fenced off. We won't be walking down there today, but yeah, shame. But uh, let's go this way, because this is open. And I think everyone says this, but it's nice to appreciate the place that you're in now instead of rushing from ride to ride you you know you're walking around it's silent you're taking it all in and yeah it's very nice <laughs> I'm no historian and I can't remember what I saw in the in the vlog that I watched, but apparently there was a bear in here. A bear? And it bit someone's hand off. Oh. So, <laughs> do you want to get out of there after I told you that? Um, there's no bear in there, so... <gasps> no. There's no I thought bear. I was going to prank it then. Never mind. But yeah, history. So there's these stairs near that thing I took a shot of then. I have no idea where this takes us. Just into more paths. Yeah. So many different ways around Dalton Towers. But yeah, I've never been down here before. Wait, can you? Cattle pen. What? It's probably isn't This isn't a queue line. No, I'm sure it's saw... not. She doesn't have a clue what she's on about. Just peeking through the trees there, the pagoda fountain, we're on our way down to it now. Via all these stairs, in fact. I don't even know, does this even take us down there? I hope so, because, yeah, big trek down here. Yeah, it is, so. Yeah, I wonder if the fountain's on, because. Is it not? Ah, oh, well, we'll go and see it anyway. Because apparently it gets switched on for a couple of hours a, a day, so. I don't know what time they switch it on and off, but uh, yeah, it would have been a bonus to see it on. But it's no big deal that we haven't, and no doubt it'll be on more when the actual theme park reopens, so we can, you know, go from ride to ride, you know, and pass it on the way there. It's not turned on at the minute, but it's looking really nice. It's had some restoration over the past few years. It's had a lot of paint work done, and yeah, looks nice. These plants are a bit low walking through here, but. Oh, we've made it up here. And yeah, it's been a big truck up here, hasn't it? So we've just had a bit of dinner. And these guys have heard the Pagoda Fountain and we turned saw, on. And we saw it. So, oh, they saw it apparently. So, uh, yeah. We saw the top of the fountain. We're going to have a close look. We're going back on ourselves, basically. <laughs> to be stood here with this view again it's not a view that I I don't really stand here and watch the ride from here that often yeah I normally just come out of the shop and go to spinball but it's nice to see it again also uh, around the smiler earlier uh, no testing obviously um, someone who was also looking to see if there was testing was Ella from Theme Park United uh, yeah so nice to see you um, yeah, shout out to Theme Park United, good Instagram and YouTube channel. 
Yeah, no testing on Wicker Man, unfortunately. It's a still chain. So around here, this is all we can get to. It's fenced off there, just Wicker Man station, um, gift shop and all that around here. So yeah, back to Wicker Man, not too much to see here. We ever thought we'd come and have a look. Ice creams are available. This ice cream van is card only, and I think you can get some down there, which I assume will take cash. But I'm not sure, because I didn't have one. So we have been looking for these stepping stones for quite a bit Yay! and here we go we've just come up here we've found them let's walk across the stepping stones <laughs> yeah they are quite hidden don't fall in <laughs> so yeah nice little stepping stones there Not fall. Glad we found them. Go. Right, here we go. I'm going to roll down with my phone. If it's not safe, I'll just drop it on the grass so I don't end up crushing my phone. <laughs> I'm still going. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> They're telling me to stop. Oh wow, I'm near the, I'm near the path. Wow, I, I can't see straight. I'm <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well. <laughs> well, so yeah. Good job the shark had stopped. Would have ended up whacking itself into there. Oh well. Yeah, rolling down this hill. Wow. Came down longer than last time. Okay then, so after rolling down this grass a few times, which is really fun. Uh, yeah, that's probably all we're going to do for today. Alton Towers uh, the Park uh, closes in about 45 minutes. We've done everything there is to see. Uh, as much as the rides aren't open, it's just been nice to get out and, you know, to be at Alton Towers again, to see the rides, to walk down Tower Street. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really good day today. It's been so nice. And uh, yeah, ended with, you know, a bit of spinning. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, like, subscribe and all that, um, Warwick Castle's also open, we might be going there at some point, who knows, and um, yeah, for whether we'll be back here again, obviously we know the theme park's supposed to be opening on the 4th of July, so stay tuned for the vlog if we end up coming then or a few weeks later, and if we come to see the gardens again before that, and might do a little vlog of it again, 
who knows but yeah thanks for watching like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one